approach you guys about a very rising conflict in our society, youth violence. Now, you know, I understand that most of you have friends in this very school, you know, and I'm pretty sure that each and every one of them, and us as well, get angry. See, the thing about youth violence is that it's not just happening around us, but also within the very places that we go every <coughs> single day. You know, we go to school, some of us even go to work. You know, even if it happens in our houses, we all go, you know, we always see that people get angry and they tend to release it in violence. You know, after doing some research, I've come to find out that many, many things can lead up to youth violence. Here are some examples. Home environments, for example. A lot of teenagers nowadays have broken home environments. A lot of teens go through depression. And now, nowadays, a lot of kids have a lot of access to weaponry. And also media. Negative media leads to a negative, a negative lifestyle. And peer pressure. Learning difficulties, health problems, lack of guidance, and attention seeking. These many things can lead to all forms and kinds of violence. Didn't know that, did you? Other causes of youth violence are, again, media, media substance yeah. abuse, gangs, unemployment, weapons, poverty, peer pressure, broken homes, poor family environment, intolerance, and ignorance. Didn't know that, did you? <laughs> see, see, the problem, see, the problem is that many young people are getting hurt or even losing their lives at such a young age, and yet they have their whole lives ahead of them. And youth violence also has an everlasting, an everlasting <coughs> impact on a person's mind. Didn't know that, did you? <laughs> See, I'm a victim of youth violence myself. I've had anger issues in the past, but I've learned, them, learned to control them through, you know, football and because of many reasons. And these reasons may also help, you know, other struggling teens out there as well. These solution, the solutions to stopping or even just preventing youth violence are good parenting, less access to weapons, bringing or bonding families together. Now, do you know what we can do together, us youths in school, to prevent this? We can start youth violent, violence prevention programs. We can create more after-school activities and clubs so that we can occupy the, the time of most of the young people in this school. Hallelujah. <laughs> we have to take time to talk to a friend or to a couple of struggling teens to see how it would feel if we were in their shoes. Okay. We have to be a good example and sh we also have to continue to show them positive media so that they can live a positive lifestyle. And finally, we all, and by I mean all, I mean all, need to stop being instigators and just stop creating conflict. Amen. Thank you for your time and full cooperation. <laughs>